I went here this morning and I don't regret it one bit. Hey, hey, Jordan here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take your presets and put them on your phone all using the free Lightroom mobile app. You do not need to pay for the desktop version of Lightroom for this. You can do everything from your phone and I will show you exactly how to do that in this really simple tutorial. All you're gonna need, your fancy pants smartphone and that's it. Go ahead, leave a comment below, type in ready if you're ready to make this happen. Oh, and why am I wearing a hoodie in the middle of an 80 degree humid Missouri day? Well, it's because I stayed up late putting the final touches on my Brittly Mobile presets. There are eight different presets designed for eight different types of adventures. Well, two of them are black and white and then the other six are for your different adventures. Which technically black and white, I mean, that's an adventure right there. Wherever your phone goes, these presets will go with you. I'll be using my presets as an example, but feel free to use this with whatever presets you buy. If you're not already subscribed and you like photo and editing tips, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and tap that little bell icon. You'll get notified every time I drop a new video, which is once a week, by the way. Ready? Let's go. First, I wanna download the very free Lightroom app to your phone. If you've already downloaded the Lightroom app to your phone, then you'll just wanna make sure that Lightroom is up to date. Next, you'll wanna download all of the Britley Mobile presets. Open your email receipt and click the button to access your downloads. This is the page that you'll see. The first download is a written tutorial, so we'll just skip that because you won't need it for this video tutorial. Go ahead and save all eight presets. Step three, open the Lightroom app. On the bottom right side of the screen, you'll see a set of two buttons. The one on the left is an import button. Click the import button and next you'll want to import all eight photos that you just downloaded. We are gonna turn these into presets. Once all eight photos are imported, select one and once it loads, click the check mark in the top right part of the screen. This will tell Lightroom to process the photo and it will automatically close once you've clicked the check mark. Do this for every photo that you just imported. One by one, open a photo and click the three little dots at the top right of the screen. Then choose create preset. If you don't see create preset, then you'll need to update your app. In this section, you'll name your preset and create a folder for all of your mobile presets. So first, go ahead and type in a new preset group called Britly Mobile Presets or whatever the name of your presets are. And then after you've created the group at the very top, you'll just enter the name of the preset. Check all the boxes and click the check mark at the top right. Repeat this for the next photo. Only this time you don't have to create a new group. You can just select it from the drop down menu. Repeat this for every photo that you downloaded. It takes a minute or two to get it all set up and organized, but it's so worth it. You'll be able to easily choose different presets and see what each one does. I'd suggest that you delete these photos, the ones that you imported, off of your phone, off of Lightroom, because they're really large photos and you've got photos to take. You don't need random photos taking up space on your phone. To edit a photo on your phone, import that photo into Lightroom, open it, and tap preset. From there, you can just pick whatever preset you wanna use. You can play around. Just see what works best for that situation. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button below. If you have the Britly Mobile presets, leave a comment below and tell me what your favorite preset is. And if you don't have the Britly Mobile presets just yet, then comment below and tell me your favorite sliders to use in Lightroom. That's it for today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.